So we had the old DNSSEC presentation, which I did a long time ago, and of course I'm not going to repeat it. It's designed for bigger time. So we had some history of our not uh, use and our DNSSEC. We started it in 2011, and then in 2019 we have migrated to ECDSA keys, and we had been running it since then. Uh, in 2023, we had decided to review our setup and we noticed that some things we wanted to fix. So these were, well, I listed the reasons here, but basically we had some manual stuff we did a long time ago and it was not changed because, hey, it works. But we had some specific issues like the overlapping error six and the manual rotation for ZSK. And so we have to, you know, automate this and let's say remove the human element. The other things I want to note that we have evaluated other options and we decided that we're going to try not. The few reasons for not to be used, these are listed below. And I would just add that we like it, that the documentation is quite extensive and there were some mal issues with that, but I would not say it's a documentation fault. It's more like, you know, you need a usage guide and you need some user experience, you can get it from your own experience, you can get it from others. <laughs> we get a bit of both. Uh, I noticed that we have uh, cooperated with Six Connect and I'll say they have used Not and they gave us some advice on their use and we gave them some <laughs> feedback later. So I can probably talk about this in some in-person meeting at some future point. So we had tried this and started doing this in September of last year. Uh, over about a month and a half, we've, we've migrated most of our second level domains. We had some incident with journal work, which I don't want to go into detail, but I just point this that we had very good help from the developers within Slack chat. We, I don't want to mention them by name because maybe I'm not comfortable to, <laughs> to be named as our little heroes, but we have got some advice and we have noticed some things which could have been documented better, I guess. And I just list these options, don't dwelling on them, but there are some parameters which work in some combinations uh, of setup and some of them are not good. So I guess maybe you have to get some scenarios listed for a you know, particular use case. In our first case, we had a primary node server, which was generating zones and signing them. And that mean that you have to take care of the serial numbers. And this should be done either by manual synchronization of the file or with not managing that. So in case of that first part, which had used, let's say, synchronization of serial numbers from the files, we have settled on these settings and we have noticed some bugs with bind, which I don't want to go into detail, but again, some things can go wrong and they probably will, especially when you switch from complicated cell. Once we were done with the zones uh, for the second level domains, we have switched to main UA zone and we have done it in this mode. The primary server was still running bind. It was generating unsigned zone. We used bind views for that. And that unsigned zone was in parallel signed by not using same keys that we have used in original. So this way we can, you know, step up and step down or step forward, step back. And we have checked a lot of things before switching over. We used this ZSK rotation magic, ROSIG and M63 updates from NOT. And again, I was very impressed by all of the parameters we can tweak. We have also set up a test bind server to be a secondary of this new signer. So we can you know, see that the files generated are okay and the zones are transferred properly with the small incremental updates. Uh, we also had, let's say, a set of intermediary files, uh, sorry, servers, which were used to minimize impact. So instead of everybody switching the source, they were already using another source, which was using first bind server and then not. So basically a proxy, which would be hid hiding the mechanism behind that. So when the big day ca came, we have switched over and we run into some mild issues let's say sorry uh nothing so bad 
but I did mention that here because again, I reached out to the developer team and they managed to detect the issue and issued some emergency patches, which we applied and we still running that code. It was based on 333 release and I assume that next release would have these integrated. So things I do like about not its configuration is different from bind, but yeah, since space matter and you can do steps, but I think it's much more readable. Uh, I like the magic ACLs, although that takes use too. And then I like the not C functionality when you can update the serial numbers. So basically when you're secondary another zone and you're signing it, your serials would go out of sync because that would be maintained by not. And we have to like move them up too, I think, to to switch. But that was not a problem. Uh, the transactions allow you to start editing zone. The zone would be frozen. You change it in the memory of not. Then you commit the changes. It would go to the journal and to the secondaries. The log files are readable comparing to the bind or NSD log files because we also consider it NSD as an option. Uh, other good thing that the exit fair change sets are very small and the error six are not unnecessarily updated. We have tested bind server in similar stuff before we have run into some issues. I like that you can have a nice separate tool for key repository queries. And I noticed that some issues with bind import keys, but again, that's not enough time here to talk about it. But maybe that would be the bug I have to file. Maybe that's some usability issues. Uh, I also noticed that not sometimes does one more update. We have scheduled updates and we do them twice an hour. Sometimes we'd run into extra update because of some not internal maintenance. It's not a harmful thing, but if you expect your serial to be updated on the schedule, well, don't expect that. Uh, and I noticed that this interesting thing that SOA email field was always lowercase, which was actually a cool way for us to know that not is used because you had uppercase in our SOA email address. Oh, and one more thing that every DNS key set in not is only signed by KSK key then bind does dual signature which is extraneous and that's actually a cool way to find out whether some zone for example that us is running bind or some zone runs not or maybe not as a which behaves like not so yeah i would write some takeaways here that it's good to have you know small steps and small goals and have a plan b or other let's say a way to get out of the bad situation and it's very important it was very useful and I would like to mention again that it was very nice communication with CIS, with CISNIC team and I like to thank Thomas Halla for coordinating this interaction and so I was very happy with that factor. Not to say that other software developers are hard to reach but you know in our case we have got help twice and in both cases it was expert help not just you know of read the documentation right. So thank you for developing this. I write my email here and maybe some questions or one or two from the audience. Thank you all. Sure. And <laughs> greetings uh, and I hope to see you in next meeting in Zdeno Brno or where else you have it. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> thank you. Bye.